and I will definitely recommend this is the good bike to buy beauty you can see even you can lift the wheel <laughs> What's up, Mick? How's it going? Hi, how are you? Good to see you happy. <laughs> Good to see you, man. We haven't done one for a while, have we? Yeah, around a month. Yeah? Wow. One month, yeah. Sorry to everyone out there. They missed us. <laughs> uh, probably not. Hey, today we're going to have a look. I just traded a CRF 1000, uh, which is basically branded the Africa Twin. Uh, and I thought it'd be a good, a good compare, -o, maybe a bit with the with the Kawasaki Versys 1000 although we all know that they're not the same bike or design for the same uses they do sort of cross over into each other's area um, obviously your Versys 1000 that's your four cylinder engine the same as your Z1000 your Ninja 1000 it's a performance motor uh, very usable power um, with your slipper clutch also has 17 inch wheels 120 70 and a 180 55 on the rear so more sports orientated as far as a sports bike can can, can go got your twin disc brakes your upside down forks all your adjustments and so on also has separate power modes full power and low power with um, ABS and traction control now we've seen the reviews on this hopefully if not go back and have a look but um, We've reviewed this motorcycle and I thought it'd be good to chuck the, the uh, Africa Twin up against it. Now, obviously there is a f quite a few differences with the bike. <coughs> Before I choke to death. <coughs> um, physically they're a lot taller. Well, they feel a lot taller. Being a little bit thinner. Basically, more designed for off-road use. Um, but are really good, good on the road. It's got the twin cylinder, 1000cc vertical twin motor um, T pumps very torquey for off-road conditions and so on 21 inch front wheel Basically for getting over you know off-road stuff people out there who know their off-road bikes they're 21s better still got twin disc brakes up front really good stopping power this one doesn't have ABS on it although they do come out with ABS it's also a manual with a clutch I'm pretty sure they come out with an auto as well not that I've ridden one. The rear tyres are 150, 70, 18. Thinner than the Versys. Bigger to get over the obstacles. The height underneath is a lot more clearance underneath there with that as well. So, beauty. Similar design bikes. Thanks, mate. Uh, obviously the uh, the CRF is more off-road orientated <laughs> and it's pretty good on the road good protection from the elements the Versys 1000 is a more road orientated bike I would not take my Versys off-road the only reason is it's a road bike designed to have that sort of that uh, adventure style but with those tyres the wheels and so on the ground clearance uh, it's a massive motor I wouldn't probably wouldn't take it off-road if I had the Africa twin next to me I'd rather take the Africa twin off-road yeah. but some people do the adventure tires on it yeah like oh big, yeah thick, beefy tires. some people put some um, some knobby semi knobby tires on them for dirt road use they are good yeah. you know you can go hook along a dirt road no worries at all um, but when they off-road I call off-road you know single track enduro style fire trails all that sort of gear I wouldn't like to take the verses on that stuff. Yeah. Although a dirt road, yeah, no worries. I took the um, Z900 Cafe yeah. on a dirt road there not long ago up a mountain. It was extremely good, actually. I was, I was surprised. Uh, and I really wouldn't want anything else. So, But we're going to go for, for a quick flat, see how they feel. Um, get to have a look. We just thought we'd show you a couple of couple of similar bikes, but with a different feel on the on them as well. Happy, I don't think you've ever ridden one of these, have you? Not this one, mate. First time. Good. Uh, yeah, we'll see the power. They're actually a, a pretty cool bike. They're a big bike. Yeah. First thing yeah, I noticed about it, it's a big bike, and yeah. I, and 
going off road on this it's it's it'll be a, a fair bit of a, a task yeah. to throw it around this model looks a little bit slimmer if someone riding past mm. compare them the versus or uh, gs yeah. or tiger oh, this is a little bit looks thinner i don't it's know why similar to your um probably the close with like the super tenor a and the yamaha side of yeah, things yeah, yeah. um even it's got that 660 tenor a look about it that tall front yeah um and so on on there so but look i think they've done a really good job i think it's a great bike you know yeah it I, is, um, yeah. I love my kawasaki's but uh for off-road stuff compared with the two i'd rather be on that for road definitely your versus absolute awesome all-round bike um already Let's go for a ride oh, after coffee. Bit of coffee. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Are you ready, mate? Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Within a minute. Always ready to ride. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tie this one. <laughs> Before I forgot. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. This is happy. We're gonna try to fix these things i got so many comments the people won't compare these beauties so here we go yeah yeah my these beauty might <laughs> let's go small pad it's got the small pad okay oh yeah oh yeah beauty so there you go guys so let me spin the bike then i will see what we're gonna say about it looks so smoother bit smoother yeah i can stand properly easy very comfortable okay yeah mate yeah let's go that's enough <laughs> yeah it's bit bit high, higher yeah the same size as a uh, tiger Similar height as a tiger. Oh yeah. Yeah. The engine size is bigger. Sounds different. Yeah, it's a bit smoother when we pick up the bike like this. Okay. I tell you, this is a great bike for the touring, for the city, all the way. Straight. There you go, another one. <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> Why the indicators here? Don't they? <laughs> oh wow. It's a hard not ending it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> the pad's a bit smaller, but we can't feel it. It's smaller, big. It's, it's all right. Let's go. Good pick up. Very nice. Look at the verses. She goes very nicely on the twisty. Very good response from the twisty. And this one have a bigger wheels. Uh, they are like 20 or 19 and 20. It's mean uh, if that is the best on the twisty, this is uh, the very good on the twisty. But these things are very good on the off-road, on the gravel and uh, all the things, you know. I'm very impressed from the from this model. The controls and the sitting position, I can stand very comfortably with the with the more confidence on this bike. And uh, let's see, on the turning, it's all right all good they work perfect the tank is not very wide from here uh, it take my legs on the right position when I'm standing on it but uh, why are we gonna stand because in some sports some areas on the off-road on the sand on the beach uh, sometimes we won't stand for probably half an hour for an hour and I reckon this bike is very good on that that point you know we can chuck the legs on the position uh, straight and we can stand with a very good uh, confidence it's more easier and I was thinking before the motor motor engine response gonna be a bit grumpier because it's, uh, uh, it's the twin but I can say it's a Honda and the response from the motor is very good and it has no slipper clutch and uh, no other stuff but it's uh, very smooth gear, gear shifting is very smooth no trouble but easier yeah good pickup very nice So the brakes are good on the downhill we can use a gear mostly Wow it's 
got the beautiful sound, I tell you. So if you guys are thinking, <clears throat> should you buy this one, I would say, if you are looking heavy adventure and you can see the off-road and the beach or some heavy gravel road around on your way and you're going to do cross the country, the country like Australia and it has many off-road and there is many way to go around and I, I will say this is best bike one of the best bike I tell ya very good bike if you guys are going to the uh, adventure not on the off-road not on the beach definitely you can go with the uh, Versace you know Versace is very smooth bike and very good to control it has a small tire than this and very good on twisty and this one is uh, good for all the way around no drama So well, there you go Very nice Yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking it's cool. It's all right. Ah, there you go. Not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Bloody good, mate. Bloody good, mate. Yeah, that's good I tell you, if I won't buy the tiger, this one. Yeah. What do you reckon? Tell me the well, truth. I, I quite like it. Yeah, I enjoy. It. I like the size of it. Yeah. It's yeah, it's. Yeah, more more power. Mm. Than the tiger. Here, mate. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's truth. It's true. It's got the more power, and uh, very good control. Mm. Even it has no ABS, not the um, the modes in it, mm. and thing. But if so, if someone won't do the adventure, that's what that's what they need. And if someone won't do adventure, beautiful, nice, and everything, that's what they want. For the road, I love that on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's. That on the road. Yeah. <laughs> How hard do you actually push it on the road? You can't. No, no, man. These, these, ha these things have more power, more thing mm. to push, but we are not pushing them. No. We're doing nothing. <laughs> what they can do? Yeah. Well, it's it's definitely it's uh, this is the bike. And uh, first time I have ridden this one, I'm quite impressed with this one. Uh, so this bike is available here in mixed store. Oh, this is a used bike. Yeah. yeah, this is used bike. Definitely, it's gonna be used bike. <laughs> it's 2015, and uh, quite nice. Is this a stalker just? Yeah, I think there's a carbon missing. Yeah, they did the modification on it. No, 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 no. this is the the factory welding. Yeah. yeah, but the sound is good. Alrighty, guys. So we're gonna swap the bike, and then we will talk to you guys. So you can do uh, another look over here on the horses. Oh, they look amazing. They look beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. They look good, eh? Huh? Together, they look good. Yeah. So. You're gonna ride the burst seat, bro. Yeah. We'll jump on that. Yeah. We're just going down the hill here. Yeah, too easy. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Maybe the video gonna be in two parts. Part one and part two is gonna be long video, so you guys can have watch 
like today and tomorrow so enjoy to ride tomorrow, huh? to tomorrow. Wait for tomorrow yay see ya guys see you in part two part two <laughs> <laughs> so we will do the full review what we feel eh? see you guys in the shop